everyone welcome back to my channel so today we are going to discuss the problem split array into the maximum number of subarrays i will attach the uh, question link and the solution in the description and i have also attached a lead code extension where you can find the company tags uh, for each and every problem this will, this is helpful when you are preparing for a, a specific company so without wasting any further time let's understand the problem first we will understand the problem then we will try to build the logic try to build the logic then high level we can see the code so based on your experience you can switch the speed whether you can go to 1.25x or 1.5x so first let's understand the question here you are given an array nums consisting of non negative integers we define the score of sub array nums of l to r such that l is less than r and nums of l and nums of l plus 1 and nums of l plus what is saying that he will give some range l to r l to r l to r plus suppose we this is a vector v of l and v of l plus 1 and v of l plus 2 is doing an until and v of r i think most uh, most of you know the bitwise operator and i will uh, explain you what is bitwise suppose you have 0 0 and 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 if you have 0 0 what would be my operation 0 0 1 0 1 0 0, 0 1 and 1 1 is 1 and operator is something which will see if both characters are true then only it will return to or else every time it will return false so um, i th this part i think most uh, all of you have got uh, understood now consider splitting the array into one or more subarrays such that the following conditions are satisfied saying that each element of the array belongs to exactly one subarray if we are breaking the subarray suppose it is 1 to n if we are breaking the subarray 1 to l then l plus 1 to some k then k plus 1 to n so if you break the subarray into three parts then each element each element should be present only in a one subarray it can be present in only one subarray l can't be present over here if l is present here l can't be present here it is saying that and the sum of the scores of the subarray is the minimum possible is saying the minimum so i think now all of you got it like if you want the minimum then and operator is a destructive operator i can say which we will decrease the scores our scores will fall gradually if it is not matching add is a constructive operator where our scores will increase now if you see is saying that minimum possible and we to return the maximum number of subarrays in a split that satisfies the condition above so we need to return the maximum number of subarrays so let's understand let's see suppose you have given this 102 Zero one two. What will be my and operator if I do and is something and is something? Uh, is saying minimum value minimum value. Then uh, to get the minimum value, I can do and operator with all my elements one to n. I can do right one to n. I can do so that I will get the minimum because uh, how we can prove that? Suppose we have three five. Three seven. Now you have one one, and one zero one 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 and triple one. If you see one, it is zero. This is one. What is my maximum value? Here it is zero. Here it is zero. Sorry, it is one. It is one. So the and operator will be less than all this operator, all this value. Suppose in this value our minimum is three. If you do and, it will be less than three. and if you perform on all this all these elements then definitely we will get the minimum and then we will get the minimum i think you have understood it uh, if you couldn't able to understand uh, in the uh, in the next section you will be able to understand it now 102012 uh, what will be my and it is zero right it is zero because i have two encounter if i encounter two definitely uh, my minimum can be zero so let's see the split if i split over here this is one and we can split here this one and i can split here and split here i can split and i can split total number of splits are 3 suppose 1 0 2 
zero, and if you have one one, one one, what would be my splits? One, and I can split here. I can split here, but this both are not satisfying my condition. So what I will do? I will say I will not split over. I will split here. I will split here so that this all will satisfy my condition. At the end, I will check whether it is satisfying or not. If it is not satisfying, directly I will return the answer. I will other otherwise I will increment the answer and I will return it. Okay, for zero, it's working as expected. Suppose let's see. Uh, suppose you have elements like this, like ten, eleven, ten and fifteen. Let's see ten. We how how we can represent ten one zero one zero eleven one zero one one ten one zero one zero fifteen all ones. If you see one one, oh, sorry, it is zero. It is one and it is zero. It is one. So we are getting ten. Ten as my valid answer. Uh, suppose if you see ten and eleven is ten. Suppose if I split over here, if I split here. I will split here. Is saying that the sum of the scores of the subarrays is the minimum possible. If I split here, this subarray sum is ten, and this subarray is ten. If I perform AND operation on this and this, this is ten, and this is ten. I am getting twenty as my answer. But but he is saying that the sum of the scores should be minimum. So definitely it should be ten. Definitely it should be ten. By this by this what we can conclude, uh, we can do AND operation on all the All the elements, all the elements. If it is non-zero, if it is non-zero, then my answer will be one. My answer will be one because if you are splitting the array, if you are trying to split, if you are splitting over here, uh, suppose my answer is x until here, and till here my answer is x, and here my answer is x. My answer will be three into x. But but if I don't split it at all, if I don't split at all. X and X and X. What will be my X? And uh, uh, X is will be my and the number of uh, uh, splits will be one. Here number of splits are th three. So in this way, if if you are not equals to one, we can directly return one. I think you understood why it gonna fail if uh, if it is if there is no zero. For zero, we will come. It is like greedily we will come from the left side. And we will see from the left side. We will see. So you can see I have taken m as three three double five double four double three one because I have considered like power of two comma something. I took twenty four or twenty one. I could not remember and minus one. It means that all my twenty four bits will be ones. It uh, you can see he is saying that ten power six. So ten power six means it will go until two power. Twenty, but I am taking twenty-four as like a best scenario. So I taking him, and I am doing and for every and for every element, and same thing as I have taken. If m is zero, m is zero only, then we can consider because zero plus zero plus zero does not defect, does not affect our answer. But if it is other than zero, it will definitely affect. So we will return one, and then we will return one. Return one. Now, if you see here, we we will iterate. S is equals to S and V of I. If, ah, uh, if S is equals to M. If it is S is equals to M. If you see this example, one zero, I we got zero. Yeah, I got zero. I got zero. Then I will S will be my initial stage, and I will increment to the count one. And here it will be two. And it will here it will be three. But but I reach it till the end. I is equals to N minus one. But S is not is equals to M. S is not equals to means S is not equals to zero. Is this scenario? If it is not there, I will not increment this count directly. I will return C. I think you understood this solution. The time complexity would be order of n, and the space complexity would be constant. It will be order of one. Uh, I, if you like, if you understand the solution, please do subscribe to my channel and please do like the video. I will post the questions. Uh, um, I will post the questions. Uh, after the contest so that you can subscribe to my channel and you will get the notifications further and thank you everyone for watching